Hey, quick little video to do a tech update about our transfer case parts. Uh, we make changes in production on a regular basis and uh, this one is not anything different. As you know, uh, quite a while ago we put the through hole in the transfer case shaft so you can screw in the, uh, the pin set screws that Axial started putting into their drive shafts, uh, MIP as well. Um, that was a popular upgrade. Now we've done another update to transfer case shafts and I want to zoom in on some of the little bits here I have on the table and show you exactly what we changed here. So have a look at this. So you can see the uh, transfer case stuff here. Now what I did is I took apart uh, one of our older transfer cases with the old style of shafts and I want to show you what we've done to update the shaft style. You can get a little glimpse of it here but I'm going to take apart these old ones and show you exactly what the differences are. When we did the first update on this, what we actually did was add this hole right here. So, uh, sort of like Rev 2 of the transfer case shafts was this added hole. It wasn't just a flat spot. Now we've actually changed this section right here where the gear screws on to the shaft. So let me get this pulled apart and show you the old ones. Um, Pretty much all of our current production uh, that should be on the market with very few exceptions will be the older style. We switched over to the new style one with a dent, oh, about maybe a month ago. So uh, sometime at the beginning of September we switched all of our production. And that means that pretty much all the trucks that have, that have been shipped or, or kits that have been shipped Sometime in September, middle, late September, and all of October there and on from 2015 on, they will all have this new shaft style. So here's the old shaft. You can see the difference here. There's a flat where the gear bolts into the shaft right there. The set screw sits right there in that flat. And that's worked really well for us for a really long time, but... I've been to so many events now that I've actually seen a couple of times on the trail guys having the set screw come loose right there on the flat. It's been successful for us and our builds but I do think that there was time for an upgrade and if you guys have paid attention to our the LRT transfer case that we now make for the R4 scale tranny we use this new geometry on the LRT cases right here. Uh, and the, the LRT shaft has this indent here where the gear goes. This would mount like that. And so uh, what's happened is that the LRT proved to us that this design works really, really well. Not only does it uh, also hold the, it, it's a basically an exact duplication, except that the set screw doesn't just sit on the flat spot. The set screw now actually fits into this hole. It fits down inside. And I'm going to show you what I mean between these two here. So I'll take the set screw here and just marry it onto this gear. Uh, I'll drop it onto the old shaft. And I want you to be able to see the difference uh, with your own eye. So... I'll screw this on here like that. There we go. So there's the one with the flat spot. There's the one with the flat spot right there. And now I'm going to put together this one here with the new setup. And uh, you'll see that, um, that where the set screw goes in, there's a nice big juicy dent in there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the way that this works is very different from the flat bottom one. The one with the screw hole, the set screw actually sits in that hole. It sits right inside the cup. So it doesn't just sit on top of the flat, it actually sits down inside that cup that we've now drilled into there. And I'll put this one in as well so you can see what the difference is in assembly. Now, if you can see these two, I'll try to aim them up so that you can see them both at the same time. So this one here in the front, this one right here, this is the one with the flat. The set screw actually sticks out just a little tiny bit here on the flat. 
This is the new one in the back and the set screw goes farther down. So uh, we actually removed the flat spot that was there and replaced it with a proper hole and the bottom of the hole actually fits the set screw. So when the set screw goes in it's got a really solid seat. Not only does it only fit into one position, so let me take these out of the way. The set screw now actually sits in only one spot. So the gear doesn't slide around on the shaft anymore like it used to. Once it goes in, it can't slide around anymore. And then you give that some blue thread locker, which is our favorite. Uh, we use uh, Permatex blue thread locker gel. You drop it in the hole, fill the set screw in, jam it, the blue stuff squirts out all over the place and it's fantastic. And uh, so we've done the update to the transfer case production uh, for all the new cases that you'll see from September, mid-September 2015 and onward. And uh, we're hoping that uh, you guys will see a major improvement. Our testing has proved that the gears uh, seat a lot better and they will last a lot longer in the set screw uh, in the tightened configuration without coming loose. You can put more torque on them than ever. And uh, so a simple upgrade for your uh, trans GCM transfer case. If you would like another upgraded set of shafts, we now have them listed on the website as the uh, new shaft upgrade and they all the, all the new production carries that new set screw uh, hole. And so uh, that should be a lot better for you guys running and uh, we'll see you soon on the trails. Uh, play Tiny Trucks.